Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel alone In a second I'll be right there Turn around, let it rain Turn around and let it rain on me Hey y'all, welcome back. It's another quick video. Um, one way to know if your plant or whatever it is you have that's in a container is ready to go up to another size is to see how it's sitting off from over the container itself. If it comes out above the container and over the container, then it's time for you to size up. This one is doing really well. Look at all the new growth coming in. And this is, this is a fragrant tea olive and it has the beautiful smell um, that it gives off in the spring and fall. And I bought this last year and surprisingly she survived every now and then i would bring her in the house but for the most part she remained outside and she lived through all the freezes and she never lost her little white beautiful smelling uh, blooms right there so what i'm about to do is i moved my mom's elephant ear from out of this container here and I placed it into the bigger container that I had my pecan tree in. The pecan tree is now in the container that I actually bought for the peach tree, but I didn't use it because the peach tree is not ready for that size. Now, one way to know, uh, well, another way to know is to take it and put it in there. And if you see how she's setting and her, her branches, are right at the side and not bulging over. She's ripe for this planter right here. So what I'm about to do is take her out and I'm loosening her up. I already started. She should be good and loose. And what you do is just take something and go around the edges, trying not to damage any roots or anything. And you just do that all the way around and then you can hopefully wiggle her out. And I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. It's easier with two, but I didn't have a tripod out here. So hopefully gravity, gravity will help me and it did. So she's out right there. Let's look at her roots real quick because you don't want them to be out that long. They look good, but they looking for somewhere to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna beat some of her, uh, uh, some of her soil off into this container right here. And then I'm gonna add some of my soil to it. So let me get started. One, go ahead and dump that soil in there. Add some of my soil, which my soil is a container soil, perlite, vermiculite, uh, a little bit of fertilizer, not black cow. I will put black cow. Oh, Lord, child, mosquitoes out already. Already. Okay, so let me get started. Don't want to stress her out. I'm just waking up the roots, letting them know, hey, wake up, wake up. We're about to go to another place. You got a better home, a bigger home. No more apartment living. We're in a house. Or a bigger apartment. Okay. Let's do it. And let you see what they look like. That's what they're looking like down in there. I just woke them up. That's all. Didn't do any damage to it, I don't think. And now I'm just going to fill my soil in here around it. I probably should have added some more soil. 
but no, it's good. It's good where it is. It was years ago, but how can I forget? We were 16 up all night. Love and heartbreak was our life. We got drunk and smoked your dad's cigarettes. Dreamt of a life in a big town. Skyscrapers and neon lights. Mm -hmm, I still think of you. And just press down on it, get the air pockets out. I know she's happy now. She's in a bigger place than what she was in. I've moved everybody around, so everybody should be happy that they're in a bigger place. So I'm gonna wet it down. Give it a good soaking. And then I'm going to add some mulch on top of her. I'm not going to add any worm castings on the top to feed its way down because I already have it within my soil. Once we start like a little puddle of water that I know I'm good for right now. And I'll check it tomorrow. Make sure she's not stressed out. Put it somewhere in the shade a little bit. You don't want your tree to be in shock or one to recover. If I didn't have fertilizer already in my soil, well, just a light grade fertilizer, not the heavy black, uh, black cow. Sorry, it's a helicopter flying over, but I would put it on the top. So when I do my feeding, I will put when I do my feedings, I will put some black cow on the top of my plants and vegetables as opposed to putting it right there at the root because I don't know what kind of summer we're gonna have. I don't know if it's gonna be really hot. It's really hot. I don't want my roots to be baking in cow poop. You ever seen a cow patty steam up when it get hot? Think about that on sitting on top of your roots. And then you might say, hmm, should I really put that fertilizer right there? But you need it. You need it now. There's other ways to fertilize. You do need it. Okay, so I got the mulch in there. And that's it, y'all. We can just wet that mulch down. I think I'm gonna wet her down because she probably wants some water on her leaves. Don't forget the leaves, y'all. So we're gonna let that get a little cold again. Then I know she's good. She's flinched. Ooh, Lord, there's a big old mosquito just laying on my leg. Y'all, I'm going to get my stuff tomorrow from Ace Hardware. I hope they have it. It wasn't in last week. I hope they have it. I was supposed to go today. I think it came in today for the mosquitoes. So that's it. Y'all just want to do a quick video and I'm out. Y'all take care. Be blessed. And again, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead. And if you like short videos like this, let me know in the comments and I'll keep them coming.